Hi, Richard Muse Property Result. Uh, I've come back to a property to make this video for you. I thought it would be a good idea that you see this. I've been already this morning uh, with our refurb team. And what it is, is it's a landlord in London, bought this and it's had a tenant in and the tenant's had a dog. It's absolutely stinks. It's horrible, horrible. Needs an absolute pile of work doing to get it up to standard. It's not the best property in the first place to spend all this additional money on top of the purchase price, which the purchase price, if I'm, if I'm honest, was over the top to start with. So I'm just gonna let you see roughly, this is the kitchen. It needs all new units, the floor's horrible. Uh, there's damp on the back wall. Come uh, into this room and you can see back door, absolutely horrible old fireplace. A bit here that needs all replastering, it needs damp proofing all the way up through the property. Then we come into the front room and you can see that horrible, horrible fireplace. Sorry if the pictures are not really straight all the time. And a, and a front door that goes out onto the main road. It's, the rooms are not even square. They're, they're, they're all different sizes. This landlord has asked me just if I would take a look. And I've never sold him the property. I would not sell a property like this. And he's asked me to have a look and get a refurb price. Now, the figures on it, I know for a fact, I'm looking on, on, on the sold prices, that the, the, the investor paid £27,500 for this. And we've estimated the uh, refurb cost of 15000 roughly about that. You know, I need, I need to firm that up when I get back to the office. So the landlord is looking at, what, you know, over £40,000 for this property. And then you've got to ask yourself, is it still a good investment? And, you know, it's going to stand him at over 40,000. Really, it's worth, even if it's done up, no more than 30 in my eyes. I think that this is uh, one of these unusual situations where rather than spending the money on the refurb, the, the landlord should possibly think about cutting his losses and putting it into an auction. I just think that is something he should seriously consider because he could be throwing good money after bad here. He's going to be over 40,000. This property is never going to be worth 40,000 for a lot of years, I don't think, because the trouble we've got, it's in Furry Hill. I forgot to tell you that. And uh, Furry Hill has a lot of tenanted properties that tenants can pick and choose what they want. And so only the best standard stuff is getting let. So he could do this and, you know, spend the money and still not let it. So it's just one of these where I had to show you that, you know, buyer beware. Don't go jumping in buying properties you haven't seen, you haven't researched, uh, and you, you know nothing about. You, you must do your research. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to say to this investor, look, I'm, I'm actually made the mind of cut your losses, put it in the auction, get your money back, Come back to me and I will find you a real nice property with a real nice yield and some equity. And, and what's better than that? So that's my video for the day. Thank you.